Hello. Miss Lestico, guess what time it is? What time? It's time for math! Yay! Welcome to another exciting day of math. Ms. Oh Lustico, are you so excited? I am so excited about what we get to learn today. That's right. We're going to do something really fun today. Well, let's look at our target to figure out what that is. It says, I can compare two numbers using comparison symbols. Ooh, I've heard a little bit about comparison symbols, but I think I need to remind my brain about what I know about them. Miss Lime, there's something that would help us remember about comparison symbols. Oh, what is it? What is it? Brain pop. Oh, I love brain pop. Okay, let's turn it over to Annie and Moby. One, two, three, four, five stickers. You've got a lot of stickers, Moby. You definitely have more than me. How can you compare numbers? It's the perfect day to go apple picking, right, Moby? I've picked seven apples so far. How about you? So you've picked five, and I picked seven. On a number line, seven comes after five. That means seven is greater than five. So I picked more apples than you. How many apples do you have now, Moby? You picked 13 apples? Hmm, the number 13 comes after 7 on a 100 chart. That means 13 is greater than 7. It also means that 7 is less than 13. So now you have more apples, Moby. How do you compare bigger numbers? Mia picked 20 apples. Who has more, you or Mia? When you compare bigger numbers, you should compare the numbers in the highest place value first. You have one ten and three ones, but Mia has two tens and zero ones. So Mia picked more apples than you. now. Moby, you picked 324 apples. The farmer has 389 apples. We need to look at the largest place value first. Since you both have 300s, we need to compare the numbers in the tens place next. You have two tens, but the farmer has eight tens. So, the farmer has more apples than you. I don't think there are any apples left. How do you use symbols to compare numbers? There are plenty of pumpkins to pick. You can write a number sentence to compare numbers. Cool, you picked 16 pumpkins. That's more than Grandpa. This is the greater than sign. In a number sentence, the wider part faces the bigger number. 16 is greater than 10. This is the less than sign. In a number sentence, the corner points to the smaller number. So we say 10 is less than 16. Don't worry. You can make a picture in your mind to help remember the signs. I like to think of the symbol as an alligator. The alligator. 
alligator is hungry, so it always eats the bigger number. Mia has six pumpkins, and she's adding them to Grandpa's basket. Hmm. That means Grandpa and Mia have 16 pumpkins. That's the same number as you, Moby. This is the equal sign. Both baskets have an equal number of pumpkins. The symbol shows that both sides of the equation equal the same amount. Anyway, Moby, I think I've finally collected more stickers than you. Hey! Wow, they taught us a lot about comparing numbers. I think that I'm ready to use those comparison symbols that yeah. they talked about in order to look at some numbers. Let's see. We had a symbol that looks like this. Do you remember what this symbol was called, Miss Lestico? Oh, Miss Lime, I remember that when the bigger side is pointing this way, it means it's greater than. That's so right. The bigger side means that something's greater than the smaller side greater than. So well, it's, it's okay to remember that the bigger side is like an alligator that likes to eat the bigger number, but it's really, really important that you know that this is called the greater than symbol. Yeah, the mm -hmm. alligator will always want to eat the greater number. And so we have to think about it as if his mouth is open trying to eat the greater side, then it's going to be greater than. Okay, Ms. Lestico, if that was the greater than symbol, what is this symbol? Oh, well, I see that the smaller side is now pointing this direction. And so that would mean that it's less than. That's right. So the alligator doesn't want to eat the smaller number. It doesn't want to eat the number that's less than something else. And so we have to remember that's the less than symbol. Ooh, how about this symbol? We've seen this a lot when we've been doing like our addition and subtraction. <gasps> Oh, this is the part of the addition and subtraction problems where we put the total or what it equals. So this would be an equal symbol. That's right. Hmm. Well, let's practice a few numbers. Let's see. I am going to draw the base 10 version of the number, and Ms. Lestico is going to draw the standard version of the number because it's important to make sure that we still remember all of those different forms and sometimes looking at the base 10 blocks it's going to help us be able to compare these numbers. I know when Annie and Moby had the base 10 form in the video it really helped me see which person had the most blocks to help me figure out which one was greater than. Okay, so I'm going to put the base 10 blocks, and Miss Lestigo is going to put her standard form. All right, Let's so see. the first number that we're going to do is Miss Lestigo's favorite number. Let's see if you know what it is. <gasps> oh, eight. my goodness, it's 8. So if we counted Miss Lime's blocks, it would be 8. 8. And then this is the standard form of my number, so how would we normally would see it? And this is eight. And then we're going to do one more number. Hmm. And we have five. Now, if we were looking at our comparison symbols, I, I know that eight is a bigger number than five. But if I didn't, I could see, oh, there are more base 10 blocks uh, on the eight side than the five side. So the comparison symbol I'm going to use is greater than. Oh, very good. Miss Lyman is going to make sure that the bigger side is pointing towards the bigger number to show that this number is greater than 5. That's right. And if we were saying this in a sentence, we would say 8 is greater than 5. Okay, let's do another example. Let's see if you can guess what numbers we're making. I'm doing the base 10 blocks. Miss Lestico is doing her standard form. <gasps> Did you say 3 and 10? Oh my goodness! Good Ms. job! Miss Lestico, what symbol am I going to put, what comparison symbol am I going to put in between these numbers? I can see the base 10 blocks that a 10 is obviously greater than a 3. And so I have to look at it and I would say that 3 
is less than, so I'm making sure the smaller side is pointing towards the three, less than 10. Miss Lime's gonna write out the sentence that we would use to say how to compare these numbers, which is three is less than 10. Okay, here's the last one we're gonna add to our anchor chart. Let's see if you can guess these numbers. I'm drawing the base 10 form. Miss Lestico is drawing the standard form or writing the standard form. <gasps> Miss Lime, <laughs> it's the same number. That's right. I put 12 and 12. You put 12 and 12. So what symbol is that? Equals. Good that is job, so correct. That's right. We're going to put this equal symbol in between them. If we were writing a sentence, we would say 12 is equal to 12. Okay, we're gonna practice by drawing some number cards and seeing if we can determine which comparison symbol should go in the middle. Miss Lustigo, what card did you draw? I drew the card six, and we have our base 10 blocks on this side to help us look at the number. Yeah, I drew the card nine, and oh, here are my base 10 blocks, so we can compare these numbers. Let's so see. So if I have six, and Miss Lime has nine. Well, I know that six would be less than nine. So I have to look and figure out my sign that's less than. And I know the smaller side should go towards my number. And then I would have six is less than nine. Oh, great job. Let's try another one. Oh, I got number 17. And here are my base 10 blocks, just in case I needed to see them. Miss Lime, I have 17 too. Oh my goodness. Well, let's put these on the board so we can compare. Wait, 17 and 17. Oh, I know that there's a symbol that we use when the numbers are the same. It means that they equal each other. So it's the same number. Oh, let's do one more. All let's right. do one more. All right, I'm going to draw a card. I'm going to draw the card. Oh, I hope you read your base 10 blocks. This should be the number 13. And what card are you hmm, going to draw? Let me see. Line? Oh, did you read them? It says five. That's right. Hmm, here's a magnet, Miss Lestico. Oh, thank you. So I have the number 13. Miss Lime has the number five. Oh, Miss Lestico, I'm confused. Five is bigger than three. Oh, right? But when we're comparing numbers, we have to look at the biggest place value first. So since this number is a teen number, so remember, we have something in the ones place or in the tens place. And five doesn't have anything in the tens place. 13 is automatically bigger because it oh. has a 10 block in the number. Oh, okay, yeah, don't get tricked by that like Miss Lime did. Well, what symbol am I gonna use? Well, I would have to use the greater than symbol because I know that 13 is greater than five. So the bigger side needs to be pointing towards the bigger number. Miss Lestico, I love how you used the name of the symbol when you were saying it out loud. That shows me that you really understand what these symbols mean and what they represent. And that's something that you're going to need to practice in class and at home so that you know the language that we're using when we do comparison symbols. That's right. It's your turn to get on Seesaw or work on it in your class. We have some numbers already filled out for you and you just have to figure out which comparison symbol will correctly go in the middle. We'll see you tomorrow.